In the videos in this series of taking your handheld GPS abroad, we've covered changing the grid system in your unit and we've also looked at the different maps you can get for your unit. One thing we also like to do when we get abroad with our unit, we always recommend a couple of things that you do in your unit. So you've already changed your position format as per our earlier videos in this series. We always recommend you calibrate your electronic compass if you've got a device that has an electronic compass. The way that works is if your device has an electronic compass, when you're stationary, the satellites don't know which way you're heading. They know where you are on the ground and it's the electronic compass in your device. If you've got it to set this track up, that will turn your map as you turn with your GPS device. I've got the GPS map 67i here today. All of the devices with an electronic compass, when you go to your compass screen and go into settings, will give you an option to calibrate the compass. We go into a lot more detail on our online course videos on how you calibrate your compass. Um, you get the online course videos if you've purchased a GPS device from us. But I'm just going to give you an example where that is on the unit that I'm using here today. So what I can actually do is press my page button until I see compass. If I had a touchscreen unit and I was on the compass, I'd be touching the three white bars at the bottom of the screen, depending on your unit. On this unit, it's actually just the menu button once on the push button unit. On the eTrex unit, you have a menu button if you've got something like an eTrex 30 or 32 that has the electronic compass. Calibrate compass, and I'm just gonna go into it. We'd always recommend calibrating your compass outside when you're away from anything electrical that might interfere with the unit. And then you just follow the on-screen instructions and it tells you how you've got to turn your unit. All units will get you to do it in what we call a three axis. So you're just following the instructions on the screen. And then once you've calibrated the compass, that is going to help your map line up when you're stationary. We tend to recommend you calibrate your compass when you've moved more than 100 miles since your last location where you calibrated it. You've had big changes in temperature conditions, or if you have got a unit with batteries but, um, that you take in and out and change batteries when you've changed batteries. Or if you just feel that the unit's not lining up correctly, maybe you've had something magnetic or something that's interfered, interfered with the device magnetically or electronically that's affected the compass. And when you're standing still, and you don't think that the map's lining up quite with what you're seeing in front of you, there's no harm calibrating the compass. But we always recommend doing that, especially if you've traveled abroad, so you've traveled a long distance since you last calibrated it. The other thing we also recommend you check if you want your clock to adjust that you have on your screen. So all of the handheld devices, somewhere you'll have the time displayed. One thing you can do in your settings, so again, it's your main menu. So whatever device you've got, it's always worth just checking in your main menu and setup. When you go down the different options in setup, you will have a one to do with time. And in the time one, we normally recommend you've got it set as time zone automatic. If you've got it a time zone automatic, that means once you land somewhere, if you have traveled abroad, and you've got a GPS signal. So once you've got a satellite lock with your device, you will find automatically the time zone will then change on your unit. So it's really after you've done the position format setting, which we showed in the earlier video in this series, and you have traveled abroad, we recommend calibrating your electronic compass and just checking and set up and time that you've got the time zone set as automatic. Our online course has gone into a lot more detail on lots of different settings and using your GPS devices. Online course is included as part of your gold support package when you purchase from GPS training for a year where you also get email and telephone support. If you haven't got a handheld GPS device from us, you can from gpstraining.co.uk in the GPS store under support packages. You can purchase the online course with the videos for all the new generation latest units and also other support packages that include email support. We hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.